Hello everybody. If you can see, and I hope you can, this is a chainsaw file. Uh, it is directional. It works in one direction. It does not work while rotating or in a rotating tool, rotary tool. And you can test this pretty easily. You can draw the file backwards. You can tell it doesn't do much. It doesn't really grip. And you can spin it. And again, you can tell it might grip a little bit. It might do a little slicing, but it's not going to really uh, remove material. And you can tell this by trying to push it this way. Lots of resistance because that's the way it cuts. It's just the chisel. These little serrations or these little cuts on the file are little chisels. They're really small and you can't see them. And I don't have a mac macro uh, lens for this particular camera. But we're going to demonstrate why it's not a good idea to use this with this. It doesn't do anything. Now, some people claim that it does or it makes an improvement. My theory on that is it's probably more honing than actually uh, moving material to sharpen the chainsaw tooth. Uh, what I mean by that is that, say, the tooth is uh, a little curled over. Uh, that's kind of how they doll. The, the uh, top plate in the working corner rolls over. What the, ch uh, what the uh, file is probably doing is simply rolling some of that back up honing it essentially, bending it back up uh, to make a cut uh, a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between trying to use this with a rotary tool and then just a few smooth forward strokes with this file. Let me show you that right here. I'm going to use an old chainsaw bar. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use that and demonstrate the amount of uh, material you can remove with just a few strokes versus doing nothing with the rotary tool. I've seen quite a few videos online now. You know what they say, don't believe everything that you hear or see online or on YouTube. Uh, some of these videos have millions and millions of views. Uh, I'm going to assume some people think, hey, I'm going to go ahead, chuck this up into the drill, and I'll be done sharpening in a few minutes. You're not really doing anything. Let me demonstrate. All right, now with the camera set up in a uh, more appropriate location, we're going to go ahead and see how this does on a rotary tool, in this case just a drill. What we're going to do is we're going to mark a little area where we're going to try to hold the file and see how much material we remove. Let's zoom in a little more. In this section we're going to go ahead use the rotary tool in one location. I'm going to use a rag on the end of it here just to hold it so I can put a little bit of downward pressure. You're going to see <clears throat> how little to no material we're actually going to remove. Uh, we will remove some, but it's not going to be a whole lot. Now, one problem you're also seeing here is Unless you're moving the tool in and out, which in itself is going to do some filing or sharp or uh, material removal, uh, you're going to wear an area right in one spot. That's a problem with all of the rotary tools that uh, people use to uh, sharpen chains with is uh, there's usually very little space, even with the stones or the burrs, so they tend to wear out very quickly. The stones, they're the worst because they actually change shape. So they change the hook of the tooth. That's why I really don't recommend using a round stone on a rotary tool to sharpen a chain. Uh, it's always constantly changing shape. Now there are probably diamond uh, ones available and of course the metal burrs or the carbide burrs, they don't really change their shape much. Now let's go ahead and move the tool back and forth. That's going to actually help it remove some material. Most of the material I am removing is because of the forward motion. It may be hard to tell, but there is little to no material removed. 
And that is about it. Now, I'm also going to include some photographs to show you a close-up of uh, the difference here. Now, I'm going to mark the bar again over here. And, and you can also see there's no material anywhere around here. Uh, the rotary, uh, using the file uh, in a rotary tool d does nothing. I'm going to take the same file out because it will still work good enough even though it's probably worn in a few spots now. And I'm going to give a few good strokes here and uh, we're going to see if we, uh, we uh, remove much material. As you can hear, uh, chainsaw bars are quite hard. And this is just a few seconds. I didn't count how long I held it uh, in the rotary tool. Well, let's see if we made any uh, difference. I'll go ahead and put a photo here with the good macro shot. As you can see, nothing here. I didn't, you didn't even make a dent. There's actually a large recess or valley here now. And you can see on the back side how much material I have removed. Using a round chainsaw file and a rotary tool is absolutely pointless. It lacks the understanding of how files work in general. And if you see someone doing that, they don't know what they're doing. It's bad information. Look at the difference here. I'll try to get, uh, try to get the camera closer. That is where I use the file with just a nice, good, even forward stroke. And that is where I use it on the rotary tool. You know, just for the heck of it, let's put it back in the rotary tool. Let's see what it does. Yeah, making a lot of progress here. Yeah, nothing. The, the difference is, <laughs> well, it does nothing but polish. It did nothing. Look at the difference. Just the, I, don't, I didn't count how many strokes, but you saw what I did. That's how a good sharp file works. So as I've demonstrated using a round chainsaw file and a rotary tool of any kind isn't going to do anything at all. Uh, that's just not how files work. They're directional. They work in one direction. Uh, again, don't believe everything you've seen on YouTube. Hopefully people will see this video and not take the advice of some of the other ones. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If I helped you out, um, understand the basics of how a file works, which a lot of people do not understand. Some people drag the file backwards. Does, that does nothing but uh, actually dull the file. Uh, the little chisels on the file, if you drag it backwards, they'll get bent over, they'll get rounded off. That's when a file gets nice and shiny. Uh, you don't want the file to be shiny. Uh, so anyway, hope this video helps. I'm going to go ahead and throw this file away. Files are not expensive. As soon as they start uh, not cutting very well, pitch it and get a new one. It's not worth the hassle. And uh, don't drag the file backwards and it'll make sharpening a chainsaw uh, a heck of a lot easier. Talk to you next time. And Wayne, if you're still watching this video, I did finally send your package out to you.